Hey, welcome everyone to Richard's Motor Sales RV Center. I'm Steve and today we've got a 2016 Keystone RV Sprinter 347 Loft fifth wheel. It's a cool floor plan in pumice decor that's light and I want to show you a few highlights. Exterior wise there are a lot of highlights. We have a LED integrated LED light into our power awning that has um, purpose whether the awnings out or not it'll light our campsite we also have integrated speakers into our power awning hardware arms and when these are all the way out they point back towards the camper and not towards the neighbor very nice sprinter camping made easy package includes a uh, five foot outside resin camp table that's self storing in the basement here this is heated and closed basement with uh, R30 roof insulation and R28 flooring so very impressive a lot of neat features we can talk about but outside they've actually given us a third spot for a third 30 pound LP bottle so we have a spare we can carry a spare and we don't have to go to town as often 12 gallon gas electric auto ignition water heater very nice we have uh, Lippert's Correct Track suspension alignment system on board. The really cool aluminum wheels with black accents. And um, this unit weighs 11,080 pounds em empty weight. So when we come in the door, we um, have an entry coat closet with our control panel. Right straight in the door makes sense. And then our... Um, Command center is located up high uh, for a good reason so it can't be tampered with and we've got all of our slide switches, awning switch and so on controls from there. It's a, This is a conventional rear lounge floor plan with an island kitchen in a lot of ways until you see how this is. they've changed this. So we have a freestanding dinette table and four self-storing chairs. So we can have place settings, magazines, or chest and checkers, whatever. Um, a trifold memory foam Hida bed sofa. And again, this is the lighter of their three decors. This is called pumice. It looks tan. Very light saddle colored. Two recliners. Really comfortable recliners. These will fit turned sideways behind our slide box or both slide rooms. So we can turn these sideways, fasten them in and shut the slide rooms and we don't have to manage the chairs because these weigh 105 pounds a piece so they're easy to manage in this regard 40 inch LED HD TV so a little bit nicer than a conventional HD um, and a 5200 watt electric fireplace so and this will heat the great room up certainly um, this entire room can be heated up with 110 volt electric heat real easily and nice ambiance. Uh, a big double door pantry, very nice. Next door stainless steel appliance package. So while it's necessary, they've really made this a big storage pantry. Uh, Sprinter has 22 inch full extension, 50 pound capacity drawer guides that are not plastic and we have a pot and pan drawer below our Wedgwood range oven and then all three of these are extra long it's the longest most usable drawer system of anything we sell so very impressive we're in a hundred inch wide body coach most units are eight feet wide this is eight feet four inches and we have two inch laminated sidewalls so if we subtract that, we have a true 8-foot interior width, and it's noticeable. Makes it a lot more comfortable. And we, have, if we couple that 100-inch width with the fact that Sprinter integrates 42-inch deep slide rooms, it's very impressive. There's a lot of open space, and we don't have to go longer because the unit's a little wider in camping mode than our other units. We don't have to go longer to get more space. So towing is... Um, certainly easier eight function remote control comes with this and um, self-storing on the wall we can run our 
awning in and out, our slide outs in and out, extend and retract. It's got several functions, but most importantly, it'll do. It's our secondary way to do our one-touch auto leveling system. This unit comes standard with one-touch, four-point auto leveling, and uh, it's an exciting addition to our Sprinter product. Here's the bonus room. So we have a rear lounge, middle kitchen, and then we open the door and we have a mid-den. And this can be a lot, of pur a lot of different purposes. This is another, a second, leather, tri-fold memory foam hide -a bed sofa. Very comfortable. We have vented windows, so this does not feel like a closet. And then we have ample storage across from the sofa and room for a 40 inch TV if we really want to, as well as charging stations for our electronics and so on. Pleated nightshades. So it's probably harder to get your bearings uh, on a video camera tape tour, but rear living room. We have a downstairs bonus room that can certainly double as overflow sleeping for our grandchildren or whomever. And then I'll show you this. This is an isolated side hallway. Here's our entry door again. And here's where the unit gets even cooler. We have an integrated ladder, meaning it will not, can't be removed. And then we have, and this would be above the den or bonus room. We have an overhead king bed sleeper that'll sleep a couple, three children with a safety rail, TV hookup, wall switch for for lights all led lighting a very nice natural light skylight and um air conditioning up there as well this can, can be used for a lot of things but this uh, two and a half feet of ceiling height in something this tall it doesn't really take away from our living space it's uh, something that could be used for storage overflow sleeping or a lot of different things it's main purpose or function is to uh, have comfortable sleeping without taking away from our rear living room floor plan so side aisle bathroom very nice oversized vanity sink storage down below medicine cabinet a three-door glass shower enclosure and a residential 48 inch fiberglass garden shower which means seat in the back safety handles and um, really comfortable we've got a lot more residential feel and remember we have a 12 gallon gas electric auto ignition water heater with this unit so it's got basically unlimited hot water very nice linen closet very nice porcelain china foot pedal flush toilet ample room to change our clothes in the bathroom and that's kind of a yardstick for bathroom size so our front master is a 60 by 80 residential Dream Collection Pillow Top Upgraded Mattress. So we have a uh, regular size. If we want to replace this in 5 or 10 years, we, have, we can use a, a um, conventional 80-inch queen as opposed to a short queen or an RV queen. Here's our... So we're in the front ma master bedroom. We have a secondary air conditioner. And we have a third TV hookup. And a very nice bank of fi a five chest of drawers and what could be a makeup station. The whole eight foot interior width of this unit is wardrobe storage or storage in some regard. It's lighted inside there. I don't have the light on. There's a shelf unit. And then we have um, two very nice big drawers, two overhead doors that are shelf folding type of clothing we can our purpose here is to be able to spend uh, extended time in something like this and not have to maybe go to the laundromat or the grocery store as often and it really works well in that regard thirty nine thousand nine hundred and fifty five dollars is our sale price on this we have two of these in stock currently we'll always try to stock this model it's a 347 rear loft fifth wheel by keystone sprinter so that's the tour there's a few highlights and there's a lot more that i didn't go over but uh mostly three-quarter ton comfortably towable and uh, stop by and take a look at the great sprinter products four season uh extremely well built 
durable, sturdy fifth wheel line that is, for the most part, $40,000 and under. So great price point. Thanks so much again for taking time with us and um, Gorving and God bless.